Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we'll be reading about Team Nach who are one of the biggest dancing sensation of the digital world. Uh, so Team Nach is available in YouTube, Instagram and Facebook uh, as Team Nach. So go check them out. So let's get right into their story. Team Nach from dance teachers to prominent dancing sensations. Sonal Devraj and Nicole Conchesao. I didn't get there by wishing for it or hoping for it, but by working it out. ST Louder. All too often, people think the key to happiness is to earn more money and get fancy job titles. It turns out they are wrong. In reality, earning a livelihood from your passion is the best thing you can do for a healthy and enjoyable work life. Many people want to pursue their passions, but most of them do not know what to do. This is the story of two talented girls, Nicole Concesao and Sonal Devraj, who turned their passion into a profession and created one of the country's most popular dance brand, Team Nach. Their enjoyable, diversified and straightforward choreographies appeal to a large global audience. They teach different st dance styles such as Bollywood, belly fusion, hip hop, semi-classical fusion and freestyle. Thousands of dance enthusiasts, especially women, have learned from them via workshops, event choreographies, online tutorials and dance fitness routines. By February 2021, more than 5 million people followed Team Nach across digital platforms and their online videos had received over 7 billion views. Team Nach has performed continuously in YouTube FanFest, a gathering of some of the biggest YouTube stars from around the world. They have also collaborated with many international and Indian celebrities including Ale Bhatt, Madhuri Dixit, Varun Dhawan, Sonam Kapoor and Will Smith. The list of Team Nach's achievements goes on. They have also collaborated with music labels, fashion designers, and brands such as Disney, Honda, Google, Shoppers Stop, KFC, and others. But this passion to paycheck story has not been all smooth sailing. Sonal and Nicole have faced many roadblocks in their journey. There was a point when they had zero students in class and running the business was taking its toll on their finances and morale. There were other challenges too, including hiring good staff. But the roadblocks did not stop them. They figured out how to climb over, go through or work around them. In the beginning, Nicole and Sonal share similar stories. Nicole was born in Mumbai on 23rd October 1989, but due to her father's job, the family moved to Lagos, Nigeria, when she was two years old. Though she grew in, up in Africa, her upbringing was very much influenced by Indian culture. She studied in a CBSE school and visited her grandmother in Mumbai every summer. Sonal was born in Chennai on 4 September 1990 but moved with her family to Bahrain on an account of her parents' work. She too visited India frequently to be with her grandparents. During their childhoods, both Sonal and Nicole received a thorough grounding in classical dance, as many Indian girls do. While Sonal trained in Bharat Natyam, which is a classical dance form that originated in South India. Nicole trained in Kathak, the classical dance form of the nor Northern India. Coincidentally, both moved to India for their undergraduate studies, joining MMK College, Bandra, in Mumbai. They moved in different circles but became friends when they competed together as a team for college dance events. Following graduation, they opted for different careers. Sonal worked as a model and photographer, and Nicole tried her hand at marketing and PR. <clears throat> One evening, the two girls were talking of, were taking a walk in Khar, Mumbai, 
when they noticed a newly opened dance studio and decided to go in they discovered the founder knew them through their college performances he asked if they would like to teach a class at his studio since they both loved dance they decided to teach a class on impulse they enjoyed the session so much that they decided to continue to t- teach dance in april 2014 they joined hands to the to start their own dance class team nach as a side hustle in november 2016 they started their youtube channel to deliver content to their online audience there are many valuable lessons to in the evolution of team nach as a brand here are a few figure out your passion while the advice to pursue what you are passionate about is freely and frequently given most people do not know what they are passionate about childhood provides a great opportunity to try a bit of everything which helps in finding our talents and figuring out our true passions Unfar- unfortunately most children miss the opportunity to discover their non academic talents due to the burden of academics not everyone can be a star academically however children can be good in many other things that are not part of the syllabi but which can be, which can take them ahead to a fulfilling life in the most popular ted talk of all time sir ken robinson made a case for creating an education system that nurtures rather than un- undermines creativity extracurricular activities help in the creative development of a child fortunately for them both sonal and nicole's parents considered such activities as important as academics nicole says participation in various extracurricular activities along with the along with my studies helped me to manage time build people skills and improve my self confidence i also learned to express myself in a better way though nicole took part in several extracurricular activities she enjoyed dance the most there are numerous styles of dance and people dance for many reasons to celebrate compete exercise and so on nicole says learning classical dance gives you a sense of discipline rhythm and expression so your base as a dancer gets strong classical dance forms such as bharatanatyam and kathak are essential parts of indian culture many indian film stars who have won millions of hearts with their spectacular dance moves are trained classical dancers for instance sri devi was trained in bharatanatyam and kathak from childhood prabhu deva the south indian superstar learned several indian classical dance forms including bharatanatyam madhuri dikshit started her training in kathak when she was only 3 years old similarly do nicole grew up in africa her parents made sure she learned kathak she also explored other dance forms and participated in every stage show and dance competition in school in in sonal's case her grandmother helped her to explore her passion for dance when she was in class 6 she moved from bahrain bahrain to india for a couple of years to stay with her grandparents sonal says in south india children are encouraged to pursue some form of art so it was natural for my grandmother to encourage me to learn bharatanatyam from a, from an early age later sonal decided she would like to master the art of dance when she moved back to bahrain she began exploring different dance styles with continuous practice her body movements became elegant and effortless gradually sonal became an accomplished dancer our beliefs drive our actions <clears throat> our beliefs about what we can and cannot do often limit our achievements if you want to change your circumstances skills and even your life you often have to change your beliefs the story of hasel adkins is one of the power of beliefs hasel adkins was one man band he could sing and simultaneously play various musical instruments such as the guitar drums piano harmonica etc 
you must be thinking that people struggle to play even a single instrument so how did hazel atkins play so many the answer is belief as a child he heard a song on the radio and the radio jockey say hank williams and others just a child hazel assumed that one musician named hank williams played every instrument in the song this assumption turned into a belief he began to believe that he needed to play all the instruments if he wanted to become a music star he thought himself to repair washing machines and cars so he could earn the money to feed his passion for music eventually he became a cult figure among record collectors and musicians sonal and nicole too believed that once you had a foundation in classical dance you could perform any dance form classical dance is a great way to train a dancer's awareness of storytelling music and rhythm while dancing by the time the two girls had reached college they had learned various dance dance styles such as hip hop jive belly dance bollywood dance etc and the three years in college gave them numerous opportunities to participate in dance competitions sonal says at college we met dhawal doshi a famous choreographer dancer he was a great teacher then and a big supporter of team nach now dancers do not just aimlessly hit poses and dance moves through the music they are actually hitting as accents and beats with a great sense of timing choreographers are the people who help dancers design their dance by organizing different moves into sequences and patterns according to a specific beat or melody as sonal and nicole were trained in various dance styles they were able to choreograph songs in different styles and make the fusion exceptional when choreographing a song they listen to it many times and incorporate a range of styles from classical to modern since its in- inception team nach has focused a lot on bollywood dance routines because of the popularity of bollywood songs and the vib- viability of the team nach dance steps people across india now identify with their choreography their semi classical versions of popular songs have garnered a lot of traction for instance their belly fusion choreography of the song osaki saki from the movie batla house was one of the most watched videos on youtube in 2019 by february 2021 this video had received over 58 million views their choreography on makhna from from the movie drive became a rage especially at sangeet in ghar mure paradesia from the movie kalank alia bhat and varun dhawan performed to nicole and sonal's classical dance moves without a doubt the girls are now prominent dancing sensations on the inter- uh, internet struggles make us stronger when it comes to facing struggles many people become disappointed and give up but when they do persist they begin they begin to realize that struggles are a part of the journey preparation for take off after college sonal was runner up in the miss kerala competition it led to offers for a few malayalam films but in her very first film after the first schedule the producers stopped responding to her she realized they had decided to make the movie without her she was heartbroken refusing to give up she signed another film although the film did well sonal felt uncomfortable in the industry then before she started shooting for her third film the producers said suggestively madam you have to adjust offended sonal quit turning away from films sonal applied to two jo- jobs but was not selected she did not wish to be dependent on anyone so she decided to try wedding photography to mark her new journey her father gifted her a camera sonal sonal started as an assistant to a few famous wedding photographers when one of them anand singhal realized that sonal could also dance well he suggested her for a wedding choreography assist assignment 
the client liked sonal's work and so word of mouth began to bring in more assignments slowly college friends also began recommending her within their networks and new clients kept coming up a few years later sonal met nicole on the road and they decided to go for a walk together on impulse they walked into a newly set up dance studio they passed the two friends responding to the founder's suggestion began teaching dance classes at the studio on weekends from then mutual love of dance and the enjoyment they derived from teaching they increased the class frequency from weekly to daily nicole was then in a marketing and pr job so she would teach after work she says i was putting in extra effort after office hours to teach others however dance is a mode of relaxation for me so i didn't realize the effort quitting a full time job takes courage and motivation for more than a year nicole worked her day job and then taught dance in the evenings then she decided to quit her day job and focus entirely on her passion she says today while working at a job i could not give 100% to my passion nor was i able to give 100% to my job i felt it was time for me to move on from my 9 to 5 job quitting the job hit nicole's finances there were few students in the class and the income is inconsistent nicole says initially seven or eight students came to our class gradually the number dropped there were times when we had no students the key reason for this drop was that people got bored easily or just wanted to learn the steps to one song so the same group could not be retained also due to the four fears competition it was difficult to keep attracting new students sonal says we had not followed the typical path of winning a dance reality show and we were not famous as many of the other dance teachers were so uh, getting students beyond our circle friend circle was a challenge in childhood nicole's mother had taught her to be self dependent so asking for money from her parents was not an option to cut her expenses nicole stopped socializing and shopping to a large extent she says my attitude of being financially independent was also influenced by my grandmother who started her career as a teacher when studying was not the norm for ch- for girls in time she became the principal of the school she became independent early in life looked after herself and took care of her siblings i have learned many things from my ga- grandmother she is a strong woman but there is also a flip side and the good part about leaving her job was that nicole now had more bandwidth she began to think of ways to market the classes to attract students nicole posted a song on facebook she and sonal had rendered prabhudeva's mukabla in hip hop kathak and belly dance and it received immense love online from friends and juniors in college that facebook video market marked the initiation of team nach into the world of online dance however starting their youtube channel took some time nicole came across youtube videos of international dancers and choreographers such as matt stefan nina uh, and dana alexa watching them they considered youtube as a way to market their art towards the end of 2016 they uploaded their first video 3 years of hard work and 85 videos later they had gained a large fan following over time team nach has grown from one location to seven in mumbai and now teaches around 5000 students stay out of your comfort zone success happens when preparation meets opportunity if you are not prepared when opportunity knocks then you cannot grow never mind how successful you are if you are ambitious do not get into a comfort zone keep pra- uh, keep preparing keep sweating because opportunities come as surprises team nach began posting videos online so that more people would get to know about them and more students would join their classes but youtube opened many other doors for them 
the duo started posting vid- dance videos on trending songs with simpler moves. People searching for trending songs made these videos visible. After three videos, there was a spike in the channel subscriber base. Certain aggregators also began sharing Team Nats videos, and within three months, there was considerable traction. Nicole says, due to the copyright limitations by music labels, we could not monetize our videos. So there was no advertising revenue coming from YouTube. But we kept posting videos to build a brand. One day, Nicole's friend Ajit sent her the video of the song Jimiki Kamal from the Mal- Malayalam film Veli Pandite Pushtakam. Telling her it was a viral song and Team Nach should choreograph it. Nicole and Sonal liked the song very much and shot the video on Sonal's mobile phone. That YouTube video went viral and was even covered by a regional TV channel. Because of the video, the girls were noticed by Malayalam film producer Vijay Babu and got a dance opportunity for the song Changathi uh, Nanyal in the Malayalam film Adu 2. These two songs established Team Natch in the South and led the YouTube FanFest performance opportunity in both Chennai and Bangalore. The audience at the FanFest asked them for a workshop and close to 500 people participated. This experiment led to the new idea of doing workshops in different cities. Team Natch created partners in various cities and with their help started organizing workshops. These workshops helped Team Natch build a personal connection with thousands of dance enthusiasts in Pan-India. <clears throat> Starting from 2018, Team Naj has performed at many YouTube fan fests. There, the girls met many other top YouTubers of India and came up with collaboration ideas. A few such as Bhuvan Bam and Prajakta Kohli have performed with Nicole and Sonal in the videos. Nicole says the demand curve suddenly went on a surge. People started asking for more videos on our channel. Brands started approaching for placement. Fashion designers started asking us to try their costumes. And even music labels started asking us to choreograph their songs. To meet the demand, Team Natch increased their video posting frequency from one video a month to three or, or three to four videos a month. Nicole says, the channel subscriber growth from 1 to 2 million was pretty quick. However, the growth from 2 to 3 million was slow. This was when we increased the number of experiments. The duo tried fusion of different dance styles and also started tutorials and quizzes. They involved subscribers by asking them to replicate the dances they liked and to post them on social media. The growth of subscribers from 3 to 4 million happened rapidly. The choreography industry is getting more and more fast paced. Dancing is a profession where trends keep changing and one has to keep learning to be true future ready. Earlier, Team Natch had sufficient time to rehearse, but to meet the increased demand, the rehearsal time had, has reduced drastically. Also, because of their popularity, people's expectations have also risen. Nicole says, because you are never going to have unlimited time, you can't beat yourself up when things are not perfect. At at the same time, you have to honor the expectations of your audience consistently. Sonal adds, if I fail, I am okay. But if I do not try, then I have a problem. So we had to draw a line somewhere. Nicole and Sonal have different personalities. Nicole is outgoing and organized. She is very good at planning and strategizing. She says, sometimes I overthink. I have learned from Sonal to take things more lightly and be calm. Sonal in turn says, we are different and have found a way to work with each other. Also, we have gained a lot of information a lot of, from each other's strength. Nicole prepares the list of tasks 
to be done and make sure that we complete them on time they keep pushing each other to stay out of their comfort zone teamwork maximizes the chances of winning in maharashtra janmashtami is celebrated as dahi handi the event involves making a human pyramid and breaking an earthen pot filled with milk curd butter fruit and water hung at a certain height the t- the term govinda refers to those who form the human pyramid not all govindas are alike based on their body types they play different roles some are athletic and can can climb some are strong they create the base for the pyramid and carry the load of others while other while everyone looks at the govinda climbing to the top usually a young boy the pyramid is only possible because of govindas who stay on the ground and allow others to climb on their shoulders the team wins due to the combined effort the govinda climbing to the top feels confident because he has the support of many govindas below <coughs> similarly sonal and nicole are able to showcase a lot of creativity and confidence in front of their audience because of the team that supports them behind the scenes it might occur to you to ask that if sonal and nicole are ace choreographers and dancers why do they need the support of a team well the process of creating dance videos has much more to do than dance let's look at some of the complex cities the organization of different dance phrases creates the entire dance conveying a particular idea usually different dance phrases include short pauses or powerful body moves the intricacy of the dance phrase is determined by the dance movements it is made up of each movement has to flow easily and naturally into another within the phrase without awkward transitions to help communicate the dramatic content dance movements are often enhanced by other visual elements such as costume music makeup lighting and acting further to create a video choreographers must understand camera angles lighting and different lenses they must also know which movements work best for a wide shot and what looks great in a slow motion the location of a dance has an important effect on the way movement is perceived a small space can make the movement look outstanding while a large area can make the same movement appear insignificant the reality is a choreographer is taxed both mentally and physically the biggest problem with creating online content is to come up with something original every time but many brains are better than just one so when team nach brainstorms and shares ideas the sky is the limit sonal says what works for us is that we have a team that assembles the ideas and then we brainstorm today team nach has a great team but it took nicole and sonal many trials and misses to find the eight members nicole says we made our hiring mistakes and learned from them eventually we created the team we are proud of <laughs> so this was the beautiful story of team nach and uh, it was quite interesting so at the end again there is a conclusion and some perspectives from both of the members of team nach so do check them out yourselves i will not be reading that so go purchase this book uh, the link is in the description below and we'll see you in the next one thank you so much for reading and listening uh, watching and listening